Hi Pisces and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be an April general collective reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So this reading may not resonate for all of you Pisces out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So I want to thank you all. I am so grateful. Thank you all for all the support I am getting on this channel. It means so much to me. I am sending you all tons of positive love and light. Thank you. So Pisces, I'm shuffling the cards. And there you are right at the bottom of the deck here. And this is going to be the clarifying deck. So King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you're coming in strong here. You got a love message here. You're about to come out of the shell in April. There's an energy here that you are speaking. It's like clearing the air. So with Mars and Mercury going into Mars and Venus being there until the 14th, it's clearing the air. It's sweet here. So I'm hearing the message here for you, Pisces, where you're speaking this or someone's saying these words to you from the song from Chris Isaac and it's called Wicked Games and it goes like this I don't want to fall in love with you I never dreamt that I would ever meet someone like you this is somebody here that you see that's very or this is you how they see you but you're very seductive there's an energy here of you communicating with somebody here that you got a lot of chemistry going on. And I feel there's clear communication coming in. So show us what we need to see for Pisces for April 2021. Spirit, divine angels, guides, did I not say? So Pisces, you can be in a commitment here, King of Cups. You could be in a very stable commitment. You could be somebody here who's very successful, somebody who has Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here. And it's like you're looking, you're, you're turning your head, you're trying to turn your head away from this woman, but in a corner of your eye, you're turning your eye. There's somebody here that's single, somebody here that's independent, someone here that's very self-sufficient. You're loving this vibe. You're seeing something here that's very grounded, an investment. So either way, so Pisces, you can be somebody here who's single, independent, someone here with nine of pentacles. It's a beautiful feeling. It's a feeling of gratitude, luxury, self-sufficient. It's an energy of culmination of being in touch with nature. Yeah, you got heaven's help, Sagittarius and King of Pentacles. There's someone here that's ready to make a partnership, a commitment. So I feel that you're in a very strong commitment and you have heaven's help. You're taking things very slow right now. You're going with the flow. You got the energy of turning water into wine right now. Whatever you're doing is very successful. You're making a decision here where you know you're gaining balance now. You're finally gaining balance in your relationship. There's an energy here of patience. You know there's a deeper meaning here, a higher purpose, okay, is what I feel. Okay, Pisces, Pisces, there you are. You know that there's something here that you can't yet see, something here that, that's hidden. You feel that there's something here that's a secret. You could be keeping this a secret. You know that you're trusting in your intuition. You feel that there's a love offer here that's coming in. Or you're keeping this a secret that you're ready to offer this. This is a knight in shining armor, a love offer that's coming in is what I feel. So it could be a secret love here that you got going on in April. Let's see, Pisces, for some of you out there, you're just not telling everybody right now. Yeah, you're just not telling everybody. You're taking a leap forward. You're very balanced. You want to take this energy here and you want to, you want to put a lot of down-to-earth, practical, homely. It's like you're building something here that you value. So you cherish it. You're keeping it a secret. But boom, tower card. Now I'm getting the tower card for all my water signs. Rest assured. This is something that's going to happen suddenly in April. A breakdown. A clearing of the air. Scorpio. Mars. Mars rules Aries. It's the warrior planet. I mean the war planet. 
So something sudden is coming in here, a sudden shock, a revelation. And I did feel that there was no communication here. There was an energy here of what's coming in. Bam, you are. You're making, you're making the earth shake here, rattle and a row, shake, a rattle and row. That could be you. You're getting ready. That tower moment's pushing you to take that foot and take the next one and follow through and clear the air. There's a shake up here that's taking place. And it's something here that could have to do with a very strong foundation. This could be in your home life. You're making a change. The tower's coming in to push you to make a change, Pisces. So I feel the universe is stepping in now. Something here where it's telling you, yes, this is love. There's love here. You're opening up the way that you feel now. You're opening your feeling, your feelings. Mars is going to square Neptune on the ninth of this reading. So it says, as forward momentum comes up against the delusions of the past, it is time to break the spell and step through to a new and better reality. Let's go, Pisces. That kind of an energy. You're stepping into a whole new reality. You're leaving behind this feeling of regret, of loneliness, of hurt, of sorrow, of a disappointment here. And the universe is saying, let's go, let's move forward. Let's, let's move into the new vibration here. Like I said, I did see this Queen of Wands. So you have someone here that you're very passionate about, but you're, you've been, you've been in the, in the zone of, you have a lot of disappointment. There's someone here that you love very much, but this person here could be somebody here, like I said, is very fired up. Lots of obsessions here taking place also, I feel. I feel that you're, you're, that either there's this person that's obsessed with you or you're obsessing over. But that five of cups tells me you got a major change that's taking place. So where is Pisces at in April? Show us Pisces, what's going on. I also feel that the way forward is new and explosive, especially with the tower. It's new, it's explosive. It's got the energy that all that Aries energy, all that buildup, all that buildup, water and fire, you're steamed up, you're steamed up. You're ready to go forward here, bringing in a change. And it's a helpful trying that helps you. The, blah, blah, the trying that's coming in, it's also harmonizing things. So you're leading forward with your heart here. It's an opening up here of, to what you love to do here. Pushing you forward to come out of that energy of feeling disappointed and raising your vibrations high here. It's an energy here of the air is being cleared. Clearing the air bringing in a new perspective and gaining your wings here to lift off, fly. Let's see. Oopsie daisy, it fell to the floor. First card out, it's lifting you up to fly. So you're starting a whole new fresh start off. A message coming in here could be from a younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. There is an energy of Page of Wands, you're ready for a new beginning. It's an energy where you look good, you smell good, Pisces, yes. And you're worried. There's an energy of anxiety. So there's someone here that's fearing this. It's like an energy, are you fearing the commitment? Because I see it. You could be dealing with a strong Taurus energy here for some of you. You have an energy where this leads to a partnership. It leads to a commitment. Something that you feel that you regretted that you didn't do before, but you want to do now. You want a new fresh start. Yet it's got the energy here of being very much fearing, having anxiety over this connection. I feel for some of you, it's an ending that happened here and it's a new beginning. So it's in a process where something here ended, Scorpio. You know also for some of you here, it's making a transition, a change, leaving the old way behind here. It's an energy of the phoenix rising. It's a, a rebirth. And I love the way that this is feeling. Like it's a divine timing here for you right now. Especially with the universe coming in. Letting me know, yes, it's safe for you to love, Pisces. Is what I feel. What's coming in for April 2021 for Pisces Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Destined events here. You have good luck, good fortune, good karma. 
This is Sagittarius energy, Jupiter. The wheel's turning in your favor here. So Pisces, get ready here because this brings in expansion, growth. It's an energy here of destined events, a turning point. It also brings in wealth, finances, wherever you're invested here, whatever leap forward that you're taking this new journey. You're starting a new journey in a commitment, in a relationship that goes into the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said from the beginning, you're building something here that you're very empowered on. You want to invest in this Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. It has an energy of, look at this. Whatever you're working on, on finances, get ready, Pisces, for expansion and growth. A new way of bringing in finances, double blessings for 1111. This is the energy of Aries Leo Sagittarius. There's some kind of a somebody's coming back home here kind of energy. Or someone's getting married. Or someone's creating a strong foundation. A huge celebration energy in April for you, Pisces. So I do see this. This is something here that is destined. Um, this is a sacred union. It's the hand of God. The double new beginnings. It's a surprise. Something here that that is is yet to be set in stone so it's a surprise a celebration i feel that's coming in it's very abundant whatever you do right now you're building a very strong foundation that is very successful it leads to wealth it leads to inheritances it also is a new beginning in your finances because there's going to be a need here where you could have leo the strength card to gain strength in the situation that you, you're you also regaining your strength is what I feel. I feel you have the determination. It has the energy of where there's a will, there's a way. You're about to take power back. You're about to take your control. You're about to make a very major decision. This is a decision about, now this is a father figure. So there could be somebody here that's, that's taking the leadership role, a father figure. Aries energy and Leo fired up here ready to build that ten of pentacles so somebody here could be a boss somebody here could be at a very higher rank position very much so and you are someone here that created wealth success ownership it has the feeling here of a solid foundation a structure it's number four and we're in the 44 today when I'm doing this reading on Easter we have the 44 portal that's opening up. It's all about tonight's night is a powerful day of manifesting of what you wish for, Pisces. And you have eight. And it's bringing in the eight. Four plus four is eight. It tells me infinite possibilities for you, Pisces. Yes. Four of cups here. There's something that you're not seeing. It's an energy here of someone... Okay, it flew out. And nine of wands wanted to come out and reverse. So someone that you're dealing with here, four of cups, someone's on edge. Someone here is very hesitant. They're very defensive. Someone here could be paranoid of this offer that's coming in right now. I feel with the star card, there is a reconciliation that's coming in. And somebody here is pulling back from this offer. They're not interested. Someone here felt um, very wounded. This is the light warrior. So somebody here that you had a connection with, I feel. This is someone that you're in a commitment with. You could have children with this person for some of you. For some of you, it was a partnership that you were building on. And I felt that there were problems. There was conflict in this connection with you and their person. I feel... Your person here, now you can be very hopeful. You could be somebody here that sees this person as the star. This is somebody here that's seen very much in the energy of a reconciliation, hopeful. Somebody here is very hopeful in this connection. They're regaining their strength. It's like an energy of patience, timing is at, at, at play here. You got a king of wands here at the bottom of the deck here, Pisces. This is somebody here that's getting ready to take action and movement and make a move forward. Mars energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a fired up energy. So now I see two kings here, okay? Yeah, there's someone here with number two. 
For some of you, you have a choice. For some of you here, there's a someone here that you've been working with in a relationship. This could be someone you met at work. For some of you, you have a long distance love affair is what's taking place here. This is somebody here that you're trying to put behind you. So there's an energy of trying to release something here so that you can move on to the future here. This could have been a connection here that you had with somebody that you had a lot of passion with. King of Wands energy. There was an intimate connection here. I feel in this energy, and I'm looking right at the King of Pentacles. So there's a need for communication is what I feel. It's in the shuffle. We're going to get the, the, the clarifiers. What's coming in is that you will be working on a partnership with this Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. There's something here that you want to make future plans on. There's something here that you want to reach out. It's like an energy of putting in the work into something here that you're about to take action on. Now let's clarify. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Show us this page of wands. Who's the page of wands? The page of wands is the page of swords. This could be someone here, like I feel, with the page of swords could be somebody younger than you. This is someone that's spying on you, someone that's looking in on you, page of swords. This person's very curious. You could be very curious right now. It's an energy of somebody here is stalking somebody. Yeah. Four of Wands. So for some of you here, somebody could be stalking you around your house. Someone could be driving around your house here. Someone here is very inquisitive about you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is somebody here that you had a connection with where you could have had a player here. Somebody that was coming in and out of your life. This is somebody here that you had... You could have had a live-in condition, but there was conflict here, is what I feel. I feel someone's coming back around here, someone from your past, someone here that's been doing some homework on you, or this is the energy of somebody here has a lot of competition. So a Knight of Wands, there was other people here. This could be your energy. You have a choice right now. You have competition. You're someone here who's got the 1111 with the Knight of Wands. You're feeling very, um, there's, there's happiness, a celebration. It could be a party. Someone here that's reaching out to you on a party, a celebration, Pisces, that you're bumping into is what I feel. Let's see why is the Nine of Swords here. And you're very anxious, King of Swords. I mean, King of Pentacles. So this is someone you're in a partnership. This is you, King of Pentacles. Coming up as Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's something here that's keeping you up late at night. And you're feeling very defensive of it. You're ready to put a stand up. You're ready to take a stand for this. You're ready to set boundaries. You're very defensive. It's like you're creating resistance. And there's an energy of you being very worried about something here. Yes, Ace of Wands. It's taking that. It's worried about taking a new step, a new chance, Ace of Wands. You have a passionate new beginning here, is what I feel that you have with somebody. It involves a partnership. It means that you would have to take a stand for what you want to focus on. What do you want to build on? Kind of a partnership. And you're some. it's worrying you. Okay, you're having doubts about this. You're doubting a connection. Ace of Wands. Okay. Let's see what the Hierophant is. So someone here wanted a partnership with you, is what I feel, Pisces. Someone wanted a marriage, and they're moving very quickly towards you. Someone's coming towards you here, or this is you. Someone's rushing in after feeling left out in a cold, feeling stuck, feeling restricted from you. Someone here is moving in to talk to you. There's communication, sudden communication. Yes, someone's coming in that wants to bring in a new start, a new beginning, Page of Pentacles. This somebody here wants a restart. It's a fresh new beginning here. It's a manifestation. This could be somebody here that's rushing in to bring in a new financial um, offer. Someone's bringing an offer into you. 
It's a very sincere offer is what I feel. The will of fortune is clarified by the will of fortune. It's destiny. It's screaming loudly. It's saying there are destined events, higher forces that are at play right now. So something's coming back around. Okay, somebody here is coming back around that wants second chances with the temperance. This could be a twin flame connection. Okay, Pisces? This is something that was destined to come back around. The temperance card with Sagittarius is saying patience is needed. Patience is a virtue, Pisces. There's a higher purpose here. Something here has a divine purpose, a higher meaning in your life with this person that you have here. The temperance is saying not to go to extremes. Moderation is needed. Yes, the lovers, Gemini. Moderation is needed. This is somebody here, okay, that you're in a partnership with. Someone here that you're in a relationship. Someone here that is destined in your life, Pisces, is what I feel. Someone could have Taurus or Gemini in their chart here. And it's like the well is turning back around. And it's aligning divine partnerships that are meant to be together, is what I feel. And there's someone here that's in deep regret. This person here, I feel, there's a lot of loss and regret on both sides. Ten of, pen Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is right in the middle. This is building a strong, wealthy, abundant empire. Ten of Pentacles is, is the energy of, yeah, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Venus and the strength card. So someone here with Leo energy, it's going to take inner strength to have this Ten of Pentacles. It's an energy here of strength card. Pisces, you are blessed with great courage, which helps you to overcome life's problems and obstacles. You possess the emotional, mental, and spiritual energy of this mighty lion here okay it's going to take determination it's going to take action inspiration ambition it's going to take aligning here okay with somebody here now we have taurus energy cancer scorpio or pisces there are there's a mother figure here there's a figure here of somebody here could be pregnant somebody here who could have children it's an energy here of this could be you. You could be the mother figure in this relationship here. You're someone here who's an empath. You build beauty, okay? You can build beauty out of nothing here. You value yourself. You, you're, you have an energy here of somebody that you value, Pisces, very much so. Somebody here that you, that you put up on a pedestal. There's a lot of love right in the middle of this reading here. And it's taking inner strength and courage and determination here to build on this partnership is what I feel. So now we have a king and queen of cups. Two people here that love each other very much. That bring in emotional stability. This is someone here that's balanced, taking control, generous, a lot of generosity here is what I feel. Okay. High Priestess at the bottom. Someone here could be very psychic. There's an energy Pisces you could be. You have the, the, the you have what it is, the gift. Your inner gifts and talents are being highlighted. It's like you have an energy here of increased psychic ability where you're trusting your intuition now. And it's like there's something here that's hidden. There's an energy here of something that's hidden behind that veil here that yet needs to be found out. You're trusting your intuition. You could be dealing with someone who's very psychic. You have a very spiritual connection. You have the high priest and the high priestess here. It's like four of pentacles. Someone here is, is trying to find the strength here to open up. Someone here has been controlling 
their emotions, holding on, waiting on. There's an energy of you holding back very tightly here, um, taking, um, controlling the energy of what's going on. It's like, do not control the energy, go with the flow because you could be unbalanced. There could be choices in love. There could be a choices that you need to make. Two of pentacles here, four of pentacles. A decision that needs to be made, Pisces. But I feel four of pentacles is resistance. It's holding back the way that you feel. Okay, let's see why is the nine of wands in a reverse. So someone here is very on edge, feeling defensive. Someone's not putting their guard down in a relationship. Yeah, and six of swords. It has the energy of somebody here cannot move on either. Someone here is carrying baggage. The six of swords wanted to come out in reverse. Let me get another card. This could be on both sides. There's an energy here of a need to release the baggage. Release resentment. It's an, also an energy of to clear the air, clearing your mind is here. Yeah. And Ace of Cups wanted to come out this way. Okay. Now the Ace of Cups is the energy of block and repress block, blocked emotions, blocking your emotions. Okay. Repressing their emotions. It has the energy in reverse is what I feel because something ended here. There was an ending, is what I feel, in April. But I feel someone here can't move on from this connection. Okay, Four of Cups. Someone here that is not interested in this connection. Somebody here felt that there was a very one-sided um, situation here. Somebody felt left out. Somebody here felt that there was um, not equal give and take in a situation. Somebody felt breadcrumbed. It's like, been there, done that. I'm not interested anymore. That kind of an energy. Third party situation. Yeah, you know, somebody here wasn't interested in a third party situation. So they closed off their heart here, is what I feel. Someone here um, still has the energy of resentment. It could have been over a third party situation. They feel very betrayed, backstabbed, ten of swords with the energy here. There was an ending, an ending of a phase. What's the star card? What's the star card? Let's clarify. The star card is hope and faith. Seven of swords. There's somebody here that was sneaky. There's an energy of betrayal, deception, getting away with something here. And the star card has the energy of healing, hoping that your wishes will come true energy. Someone's wishing that after I feel an energy here of somebody here could have been cheating, there could have been betrayal. Yeah, and five of pentacles. Reconciliation after feeling left out in the cold, feeling an energy of backstab and not communication. Hermit, the Virgo card, okay. At the bottom of the deck, the world card. So something is finishing out, something is, is done. But somebody here still has hope and reconciliation with the star card here. Someone's hoping that after somebody here was left out in the cold, five of pentacles, from the Seven of Swords, it's like there was a sneaky behavior here and someone said no to a third party situation and ended it. They withdrew their energy and this person here is not speaking to you. So someone here is still holding a lot of resentment and there's an offer here that they're not accepting is what I feel. I feel there's a decision here. So let's get some information from this deck. It's juicy, we're gonna dive deep. The Fin D Sickle Kipper, okay? And it looks like this, and I'm gonna go like that again so you could see. And it means the end of a cycle. And my friend Anna from England, Glastonbury, okay, 
she let me know that it's definitely the end of a cycle on this one. So we're gonna see what that Libra full moon bring in for April because we've got a tower moment. Something here is definitely ending. A change, a shift is here. Let's see what the advice is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So Pisces, you're someone here who could be the main man, okay? Number one, there's an energy here. Or someone here is in this for you, Pisces, but if you're a woman, there's a main man here. Somebody here that appears to be very single, okay? Somebody here that's unexpected income, number 27. Are you getting ready? Drop, drop, drop. Look at that. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Because you're going to have unexpected money coming toward you with that Ten of Pentacles. This is something that you've been working very hard to do here, Pisces. And here it comes. Opening your hands to receive. And then for some of you here, you're a very mature man. You're someone here, like, I, like I'm feeling for some of you. You're someone here who's very strong. You're a father figure. You're a mature individual. You have the energy here of generosity, understanding. You're very stable. You have the energy here of charming, okay, very handsome. And I feel this, there could be two people. There could be a main male, okay, for some of you and a two. Now take it how it reverses. If it's a woman or in, in any circumstances. For some of you, you have a child with this person is what I feel. Some of you have a child with this mature man. Number five, okay, and number 18. Number 27, number 22, we have. Somebody here wants to make it official, number 22. Okay, master numbers. Let's see, let's see. It's all about this action to change. Sudden wealth, Pisces, sudden wealth. 777 on there and a number 11. If you live in Las Vegas or wherever there's gambling, you could be winning on a jackpot, okay? There's definitely wealth coming in in April. Somebody's very generous with this wealth with you too, Pisces. Somebody here is working very hard. You could be a, a seamstress. You could be a tailor. You could be making clothes. Number 34, your occupation. You're someone here who knows how to sew, how to make clothes. You got money coming in. It's a business here that you're making here. Do you see this energy? Wow, looky, looky. And that's my, for some of you, I have a niece. It's Pisces. And that's for you, my love. Look at that. You're very invested. You're, you're someone here who's very talented. Like I was just gonna say, you are the mature woman. You have an occupation. You could have your own business, okay? You're someone here who's a mother. You're someone here who's got sudden wealth coming in, okay? I love these cards. Great fortune is for you. You have a destined, destiny wealth code that's bringing in great fortune. Okay, Pisces, get ready. Let's get a romance advice for you to end this reading. 33, 38, I just saw. Past life relationship, you both have known each other in another life, okay? So you have a strong bond with somebody here, but a past life connection. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So it's an energy of every time you have a negative thought, try to, to stabilize yourself here, try to breathe and ground yourself and keep an open mind here, okay? Because you could be suffering from anxiety. You could be suffering from depression, from the 2020 COVID, okay? And it's saying, pay attention to those things here. Keep a positive thought mindset here for positive results because you have abundance all around you. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yes, yes. That is from the song, Pisces, that I said by Chris Isaac. I don't want to fall in love with you. I never dreamt that I would be with someone like you. 
this person's totally different from your normal type is what I feel. And for a lot of you, you got reconciliation. You're reconciling here what a divine partnership that's coming in. It says someone from your past is returning to your love life. And this is true love, Pisces. So there you go. I love you. I love you bunches, Pisces. We'll see you soon.